Hello students, standard 6th, in which we are learning the chapter 11 algebra, in which we saw the making the rule to make the pattern using the matchstick. And also learn how to use the variable to write down rules. In matchstick all pattern as well as you can use those variables to solve the normal problems that occurs in our daily life. Now, in exercise 11.1, .1, the question 1 and 2 are completed. So, let's start with question number 3. It said that cadets are marching in a parade. Cadets are marching in a parade. There are five cadets. In a row. So now we have to find rule. What is the rule? Which gives The number of cadets given the number of rows. So now here it is given that number of rows number of rows are given and using that we have to find the rule to find the number of cadets so now there are five cadets in a row therefore the rule is Number of cadets is equal to five times number of rows. Now, in the bracket, given that use n for the number of rows, so let n be the number of rows. Therefore, the rule to find number of cadets will be number of cadets is equal to 5n. Where n, so the number of rows is given here. Let's read question number 4. If there are fifty mangoes in a box, How will you write the number? Write the total. 
नंबर ऑफ मैंगोस नंबर ऑफ मैंगोस इन टर्म्स ऑफ द नंबर ऑफ बॉक्सेस इन टर्म्स ऑफ द नंबर ऑफ बॉक्सेस एंड हियर आल्सो इट इज गिवन दैट यूज बी फॉर द नंबर ऑफ बॉक्सेस सो हियर आल्सो फर्स्ट वी विल राइट डाउन द रूल then you will use b variable and then you will write down the rule so there are how many 50 mangoes in a box therefore the rule to find total mangoes will be number of mangoes is equal to 50 times number of boxes and now we are given that we have to take the variable b for it so let b be the let b be the number of boxes so now we have to use b as the number of boxes so the general rule will be number of mangoes is equal to 50 into b so it will be 50 b 50 b will be the number of mangoes so it is very very simple by using the variable to write down the rule now the question 5 and question 6 are very simple so you can do it yourself for the homework so now let's take question number 7 it says that radha is drawing a dot rangoli you know that beautiful patterns that we make generally during the diwali time that uh, put that dots in some rows and then by joining the dots we make beautiful patterns that is rangoli now she is using the chalk powder she has nine dots in a row in one row she is putting nine dots now we have to find out that how many dots will her rangoli have for r rows it means that first we have to find the general rule to find the number of total dots in her rangoli and then there are more question also how many dots are there if there are eight rows and if there are 10 rows it means that uh, after finding the general rule we have to take the different values of r first we have to take r is equal to 8 and then we have to take r is equal to 10 and find the number of total dots so in the rangoli there are Nine dots in a row. So now, if we take R as number of rows, then we get the rule to find. total dots in the rangoli as number of dots is equal to 9 times 
number of rows therefore number of dots is equal to 9r so therefore there are 9r dots if there are r rows in rainbow now to find number of dots when there are eight rows we have to take r is equal to 8 therefore number of dots in eight rows is equal to 9 times 8 that is 72 dots in place of r we have to put 8 because there are eight rows also to find number of dots when there are 10 rows we have to take r is equal to 10 therefore number of dots in 10 rows is equal to 9 times 10 so there are 90 dots so as we change the number of rows in our general formula we can find the number of dots that are used so first we find the general rule and then by taking the different values of r according to the given that eight rows means r is equal to 8 so we get 72 dots and when we take r is equal to 10 we get 90 dots now let's do the question number 8 in it so that leela is radha's sister radha's younger sister Lila is four years. Lila is four years younger than Radha. Can you write Can you write Lila's age in terms of in terms of Radha's age Now we have to take Radha's age to be x years So let us start with the So let Radha's age be x years. That is given to take that we have to take Radha's age as x years. So now Lila is four year, four years. younger than radha therefore very simple lila's age is equal to 
Radha's age minus four. Because Radha, if Radha is X year, then we have to subtract four because Lila is four years younger. So her age will be Radha's age minus four years. Therefore, Lila's age is equal to what did we take Radha's years? Age X year. So he is equal to X minus four years. Let's take question number nine now. It says that mother has mother has made laddus. She gives some laddus. She gives some laddus to guests and family members. Family members. Still five laddus remain. Still five laddus remain. Then we have to find how many laddus did she make? If the number of laddus given away is L is L then how many laddus did she make how many laddu did she make so now let L be the number of laddus given away and still five laddu remaining it means that total laddu made by mother is equal to number of laddu given away plus remaining laddu therefore number of laddu made so how many given away l how many remaining five so number of laddu made can be given by the expression that is l plus five because l are already given away plus five are remaining so you can see that there are l plus five total laddus made by mother so here question 10 you can here we did question 9 so question 10 is yeah question 8 and question 9 done question 10 should be for the homework then in the next session we will see about the question number 11 so we are going to finish the session followed by pdf and any continue write down in the comment section thank you very much